What's up everybody? Welcome to the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we're at this beautiful waterfall uh, at the end of the Levada do Muinho and Levada do Nova, Levada Nova um, hike. What is it? Levada Nova hike in Ponto do Sol. Uh, this is a pretty well-known little waterfall. And I actually remember the first time I saw this on the internet I was like I have to see this place and uh, now of course I come here whenever I can and it's really beautiful and in today's video um, I just wanted to hang out with you guys for a little bit we don't have a lot of time so I'm gonna try and make this video as valuable as possible to give you my tips so that you can come to Madeira and hike safely and see everything that Madeira has to offer so stick around this is gonna be a great video we're gonna take some photos and uh, film some stuff around here and I'll be right back with our first tip of the video. Stick around. Right guys, first tip. This is something you'll see a lot of in Madeira, these uh, kind of protections, uh, especially in places where there's big drops. But in not all places you will find these and the best tip I can tell you is to not rely on them. Don't hold on to this as if it's going to save your life, right? Because some of these can be loose, some have been here for years and I've seen very often actually right over there you can see that some are actually broken. So you don't want to rely on these too heavily, of course it's a great feeling to have this here, to have that kind of protection, uh, but for me it's more of a mental thing. Usually while I'm walking across Elvada, I kind of just have my hand on here um, in, case, in case I need to grab it or just to give me a little bit more stability. So please don't hold on to these for dear life um, because they could fall. So probably the biggest tip I can give you is to use your head and to have common sense. The way I'm going to call it is be cool. All right. You just got to be cool when you're hiking in Madeira. What, I mean, what do I mean by be cool? I mean, watch where you step. I mean, when you stop and you're taking your photos, make sure that you stop, make sure that you've got everything sorted and you're taking your photos. If you see something that's not right, think about it, take it easy. Be cool. All right. No sudden movements, no panic moments, all right? You wanna take it easy and slow, enjoy the process and keep an eye on your surroundings and what's going on. Keep an eye on the weather. Does it look like it's gonna rain? Does it look like it's getting windier? Is the Levada overflowing, right? A Levada that's overflowing is usually bad news. So, in fact, I've never seen a Levada overflow, but if you see a Levada overflowing, then you don't wanna go there. Is it muddy? Is it slippery? Be cool, all right? Take your time. As you can see on this Levada here, there's no protection on this section. So very easy for somebody to slip and fall. So you gotta be cool. This particular Levada has got a little bit of vertigo. So uh, if this kind of stuff worries you, then uh, you might wanna, you know, head on to the next tip, which I'm gonna give you in a second. But for now, just be cool. If you're hiking in Madeira, what you will encounter a lot of are steps. So make sure that you're in uh, good physical shape to tackle the trails um, because you will be going up and down lots and lots of steps. And uh, getting to my next tip is that if you're not sure if you can handle the steps, if you're not sure that you can handle the vertigo, any of that kind of stuff, then the best thing you can do is at least do one guided tour with a company, with a tour guide, so that you can actually test your abilities. 
I know many times we've had clients that have been afraid of vertigo and they've done the peaks, for instance. The peaks between the highest peaks of Madeira is a fantastic hike and we'll speak about that a bit later. But we have had clients that have been nervous about doing the peak to peak hike when we used to offer this as a tour business. Now I recommend Lido Tours. They are the guys that uh, we recommend to almost everybody who comes on a tour with us. They've got great guides and they do an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, you can see the 25 fonts hike on our video so you can see what, what it's like going out with them and how they work. But um, if you're not sure, then take a guide. A guide can help you and a guide can also help you plan the rest of your trip as well. This is something that us guides are very good at. So if you're not sure, take a guided tour. They're cheap, they're great. You're gonna love them. Um, and moving on to the next step, uh, what's in our bag? Hiking boots are compulsory not optional right the kinds of treks that you're doing you want proper full length hiking boots that protect the ankle and that are waterproof because you are going to pa pass through mud and dirt and all sorts of things also hiking socks hiking socks are super comfortable all right and of course they help reduce the the pain and the sweating if you're hiking for long distances we've also got hiking pants all right and we got our hiking bag over here. So this is made for hiking. Uh, it's comfortable, it's got all the right straps and all that kind of stuff you need. So you wanna get yourself a decent hiking bag, especially if you're hiking for many days at a time. So what we got inside here, I'll try and be quick. To be honest, uh, Veronica was the one who packed my bag, so I don't know if we have it. We, we do have everything. Waterproofs, so if it starts raining, you just throw in the waterproof jacket. Um, we've probably got waterproof pants as well, do we? We got beanies and gloves for the cold. It can get cold in Madeira at any time of the year except July and August, really. But even then, it can get cold. This is a waterproof uh, sack that kind of passes over your hiking bag so that you can store all your stuff and you can catch all the rain uh, if it does happen. What else have we got here? We've got waterproof pants that will just come up over the pants. We've got our first aid kit. Of course, you want first aid kit. We don't have any food because we're going to go for lunch real soon and we're going to share that, that moment with you guys. Um, we got water. Water is very important, of course. Uh, walking sticks, walking sticks for that balance if you need it. Bird seed, optional. Please don't spread it around everywhere. This is a little bit of a um, controversial topic. I don't know, but you know, if you are feeding the birds, feed them a little bit and don't feed them bread and cookies. Thermal, thermal wear. Of course, if you're going up into the mountains, headlamps. There are some tunnels that you have to cross. So you want some headlamps, uh, tissues. Ah, oh, look at this. It's a camera bag. Batteries for the headlamps. Yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, for, for waste, any kind of waste. Don't leave your stuff. Even skin like banana peels. Don't leave banana peels around, all right? That's for the rats and for all sorts of stuff. So even your fruit skins, take them back with you. Please do not litter. If you're gonna be using the bathroom, you're gonna be doing a number one or a number two and you're gonna be using toilet paper, take it with. Put it in a bag, take it with. Don't start fires. Don't do any stupid things. Um, Sunscreen, 100 SPF for Veronica. She likes to be nice and white. White as a ghost, eh? So you can see her in the forest. That's about it. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Luis? Yeah, yeah we're getting hungry. I think it's time to get out of here. Let's pack the bag and get the hell out of here.
So what you guys don't know is that we actually cheated a little bit and this is a little shortcut just to the waterfall and uh, yeah we just try to save some time but just so that you know this is my usual office and uh, I love these kinds of shortcuts so let me show you this little road on the way to lunch stick around more hiking tips to come let's get out of here So if you're not interested in doing the next part of the trip or of the vlog, uh, which is the planning of all the walks that you want to do and all that kind of stuff, then go ahead and book yourself a tour with the best tour guides in the world at hittheroadmadeira.com. We do uh, Jeep uh, tours of the island uh, with short walks in between. Uh, whatever you need to know, just send us a mail or of course book your tour on www.hittheroadmadeira.com We're giving a 21% off discount until the end of the year on everything booked on our website including uh, trips for next year. So when it comes to planning, when you're planning your hikes, make sure to use reliable sources. The best source you can do is the Visit Madeira official website because that, you know, everything is correct. Some of the travel vloggers and travel bloggers and stuff like that, um, some of these guys uh, have some incorrect information. Uh, so you don't wanna be stuck on a path that maybe is, is supposed to be circular, but isn't. So when you're planning your trips, make sure to go through Visit Madeira and uh, the more official sites. You wanna check out the IFCN website which is the Forest uh, Institute of Madeira. There is a list of all the closed hikes and all the alerts on hiking. You wanna follow this to a T. If it says that it's closed, it's closed, don't go there. Please don't use the GPS apps, right? Make sure that you're using official stuff. Um, check the webcams for weather. That's the best kind of uh, way to check the weather because the weather in Madeira is like, is it rainy, is it not rainy? We don't know, we have no idea. So if you look at the webcams, uh, you just type in Madeira webcams, you'll be able to see more or less what the weather's like in certain places. Um, steer, clue, steer, clear, steer clear of the WhatsApp groups. Um, that kind of uh, stuff is for nomads, not for tourists. If you are a nomad, then welcome to Madeira, we love you. <laughs> no, seriously, we do love you. So I'm not, I'm not a bad guy, anyway. Moving on, um, if you want to get into a little bit more hardcore, hardcore uh, hiking, then I recommend checking out the Journey Era uh, blog, which is the Jackson Groves uh, blog. Our lunch has <laughs> arrived. More about this in a second. Picant, Sasha Boy. Check out the Journey Era uh, blog for more advanced kind of hiking stuff. Also check out our blog. Uh, all the links are in the description to this video. So I'm going to try and give you as much information as possible. Don't drink the water from the Levada, all right? There are some people that drink water from the... Do not drink the water from the Levada. If there's a dead rat anywhere on the Levada, you're going to be drinking in all of that stuff. So don't do that. Camping is a whole different story. This trekking and camping stuff is pretty hardcore. You need licenses to camp as well and permits to camp. There are penalties if you get caught. And up in the mountains, it can get really, really cold. It can get minus five minus 10 degrees in the winter, so you don't want to freeze yourself uh, by camping. Check out the transport, not all of the, the, the hikes are circular, so if you're going to be renting a car to do hiking in Madeira, it's not always the best way, it's not always the cheapest way. A lot of the hikes, uh, you start in one end and finish in another one, particularly the peaks of Madeira, Pico Joivo to get to Pico Joivo from Pico Duariero. It's a long hike. If you're gonna hike back, you're gonna have tired legs the next day. The best way to do it is through a guide or through a taxi service. Uh, we use Roberto Arujo from Madeira Taxi Transfers. His link is in the video as well. It's not expensive. We love taxis. You guys already know that. Don't go by yourself, right? All of the accidents that we've had here has been people that have been hiking on their own and hiking at night and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. So don't go by yourself. 
and let people know where you are. Charge your phone, bring uh, power banks as well so that people can find you on GPS and stuff like that. Um, and of course, we've got the Big Walk, which is an awesome uh, eight day hiking adventure from east to west of Madeira in our company on sale on our website. You can check that out. It's an absolutely awesome, awesome package with sunrises and sunsets and the most beautiful waterfalls and ridge walks and food and all sorts of cool stuff. So you want to check that out uh, over there. And of course, uh, like and sub subscribe to the channel because uh, we're going to bring you all of this awesome Madeira stuff all the time. So uh, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, do that. We're having a Franzesinha uh, toasted sandwich with um, cheese and sausage and beef with sauce and egg. Where's the egg? There's no egg. There's no egg? They forgot the egg. This is from Porto. This is a Portuguese dish from Porto, not quite from Madeira, but it's super, super, super tasty. That's it. I'm done. Let's hit the road and eat. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs>